Today we're going to be dealing with um, a project that my wife has wanted me to do for a long time, and that is basically replacing this glass. What did you say the glass reminds you of? I think somebody took spray glue and covered the glass and then let their long-haired cat roll on it. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Every time I clean it, it looks the same. Very creative. <laughs> So again, we're on a budget, so we're going to remove the doors, we're going to remove the glass, and then we we bought some film from Home Depot, or Lowe's, I can't remember. We're going to try that, and if we don't like it, we might even just go with just regular clear glass. But um, you ready to tackle this project? Yeah, more than ready. Let's do it. Sometimes these are a little tricky. There we go. They're heavy. They're double, double thickness with this pattern sandwiched in between, like laminated in between. So we're going to take a um, utility knife, score this. It's basically just silicone, and then we'll clean it up. And then we already ordered the new glass. We'll put this in. But we have four more to go, so we're not going to take up all the time uh, having you watch that, but trust me, we have four more to go. So I'm just going to take my utility knife, be very careful. Usually you can feel it when you get down to the wood. It's just silicone, so it really cuts through pretty easy. So you can hear it almost. Okay. Do that one more time here. Okay, so with any luck, I feel a little bit of movement, but it still needs to be cut a little bit more. So if you can kind of get it just started. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is really, uh, really on there for sure. There we go. And that's basically all there is to it. This is really heavy. And it's kind of crazy how much weight there was on those cabinets with this thick glass. You can see how thick it is. So we're just replacing it with a single pane piece of glass. It'll be a lot lighter, a lot easier to work with. So basically, <clears throat> I've come through and I've just caulked in just some eighth inch glass in each of these. Um, and they've been drying overnight. I got translucent caulk, so that'll dry clear. And then basically, you have the window film kit. I've already cut these. And you basically peel off the back edge, the shiny edge, and you'll get just the matte finish there. And then this window kit here, you basically spray. Let me see here. Yeah, you just basically spray a little bit on there. You don't want to go too crazy with it. And then I'm going to peel this edge off, and I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, so you're just working out the bubbles. And you're just, you're just trying to get them. Just take a few minutes, take your time, and work out all the bubbles. This is the one that we just did. And... Uh, doesn't take long at all, actually. But you just want to get all those air bubbles out. Okay, so all four of them are um, covered with the film. This is what it looks like up. This is the fifth one. So you can kind of see it really looks great. Okay, so the project is done. And Kim, you want to kind of show us what it looks like and kind of give us your opinion on what you think. So we chose just kind of a misty look. The other one, as you know, I did not like because to me, it never looked clean. But this one, it um, you can kind of see through it, but you can't see all my dishes. And I'm not a person that has a lot of fancy stuff that I want to showcase. If you did have fancy dishes, the clear looked amazing, but I don't have those kind of dishes. I still have uh, small kids in the house, grandkids. So I prefer just my everyday stuff not showing. So, and then when you come over here, this is my spice cabinet. And I didn't want all of my spices showing. And uh, you could see them with the other glass. So I prefer this much more. It's a little bit see-through, but not so much. So I'm very happy with it. So can you just tell us again, um, what it would have cost us if we would have uh, at the glass place bought a piece of glass that was pre-tinted? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the frosted like this at a professional glass place was $100 per panel. So- um, And we they, had five panels. We have five panels, so about 500 and change. And, and change. Yeah. yeah, so with this we went with, um, it was they gave it to us for $21 for clear glass per panel. And then if you add in the cost of the Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever we got it, the, the film that we put on it, it takes it to about $25 per panel. So 100, maybe a little over 100 with yep. tax compared to 500 plus tax. So I think that was a great savings. And we yeah. got the exact same look. Yeah, yeah, and it looks it looks really great. So uh, so the, is just real quick, is the kitchen officially finished? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for watching Fix-It Warrior.